What's up guys and welcome to the patch overview for 4.18 Journey to Asgard. As the name implies, the Odyssey takes us to the next step on the journey, the Norse Pantheon. First up for Odyssey skins, Fenrir gets a bit of crossover love with his Wolf Spirit inspired skin, Inugami Fenrir. Next, I scream, you scream, we've all been screaming this terrible joke for weeks now, Belly Ake Amir is here. Next, Daji is a bird of a different feather, Peacock specifically, with Sequin Sadist Daji. And finally, Nike trades in her golden wings and becomes the harbinger of the battleground. Project Olympus had a few updates this patch. The Spectator UI has some quality of life changes, server rollups are no longer active in any region, and finally, players can now randomize their loadouts, including loading screen, music theme, etc. Finally, to balance. RTO sees some very slight adjustments to her protection debuff from her passive, and life tap has a slightly increased cooldown. Kamazots takes a couple hits, his Screech power buff gets decreased, along with the initial damage from Vampire Bats. Hey! Kuzembo sees some buffs this patch, Sumo Slam and Watery Grave both getting decreased cooldowns. Ratatoskr sees a couple small buffs to Flurry this patch, nothing too nutty. Scotty doesn't know, but she will after a few nerfs to her kit. Caller's dash on Rune of the Hunt is seeing decreased damage, and Permafrost sees a decrease to its radius. Terra also sees a change to this patch. Her monolith no longer roots, but instead will slow enemies on Shatter. Thoth's final judgment is seeing decreased scaling and some changes to the damage when it's charged up. And finally, Tyr sees some buffs this patch. Change Stance is seeing a reduced cooldown, and Fearless is getting a decrease to its mana cost. And that's it for this patch. As always, if you want to take a closer look at the patch notes, you can check them out on smitegame.com.